Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to use the grid merge panel to merge nodes and connectors. So if you're working with a geometry and it's not exactly watertight and you elect to mesh that, that mesh isn't going to be watertight either and you'll need to heal it on the mesh level. This is known as fault tolerant meshing and it's done through the grid merge panel. So if I go to grid merge, you'll notice in this example I've got two domains and I've basically got a gap between them and I want to merge these two connectors across that gap. And I've got several options for doing that. I can specify a single tolerance and perform an auto merge operation on the entire grid model. I can merge by picking, get very specific. So in this example, I'm going to replace this connector with this connector. This is replace first with second. You'll notice that it's merged those two connectors. Something else I can do is merge pairs of entities. I can merge connectors, nodes, nodes and connectors, basically whatever you choose. You specify a tolerance. In this case, I want to merge these two nodes. I can select those and apply and I've merged those two nodes. Something else I want to do is do a node connector merge. I want to take this connector, split it by that node and then merge the result. So I can select that and do that. Now if I go to connector connector, I've got a couple of connectors that lie within that tolerance. I can select those and merge those as well. As you can see, I can get very local with my grid merge operations. Let's look at the exact same example, but use the auto merge feature. If I set a single tolerance and apply that, it's going to automatically go through the entire grid model and perform those grid merge operations like we performed in the last example. As you can see, you can choose to go local and perform those grid operations, grid merge operations, or you can do it globally. It really depends on the problem you're working on. Let's look at something a little bit more complicated. This is an intake port. If I jump into the model assembly, you'll notice that this model isn't exactly manifold. There are some gaps in this model and they're highlighted in red. These are the lamina boundaries. If I go ahead and accept this and put a surface mesh on it, because we mesh that geometry exactly, that surface mesh isn't going to be watertight either. As you can see, there are some free connectors highlighted here in red. And on the interior of the domain, that means there are some gaps in that surface mesh. So there are several ways we can take care of this. We can jump through here and merge things one at a time. We can perform very specific merge operations, or I can specify a single tolerance and apply. And in this case, it's taken care of all of the free connectors, and now we have a nice manifold grid. We have a watertight grid sitting on top of faulty geometry. This is known as fault tolerant meshing, where you heal the grid on top of the geometry. And that's grid merge in a nutshell. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.